Hey there, welcome uh, to Celebrating Act Two, uh, the user manual for the second half of your life. And of course, if you've been watching us at all, you know that uh, second half of your life begins around 50. And that's when uh, we, whether we want to admit it or not, uh, we transition into growing older. And we don't like to admit it, but growing older is a process. And of course, we're all living longer, so you're going to be growing older. Well, I think, I, I, think, I think, John, we admit it, okay? We're quite aware of it. In fact, we just recently changed our vlog to two go old guys talking about stuff. That's true. Right? And by yeah, the way, but when you get to the end of this that. thing, do us a favor, if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button. Uh, even if you don't like it, like us because we want to feel loved and subscribe. Uh, but enough of the pitch. So, yeah, no, uh, John... I mean, when we first talked about putting this together, uh, the user manual of the second half of your life, is we recognize that uh, unlike our, our parents and grandparents, we're living longer, healthier lives. That doesn't mean that we're right. at the prime of our life uh, from the standpoint of, uh, let's say, physical agility and things like that, which is really what I think we're talking about here uh, today. It's that um, we can continue to be vibrant and... and, and uh, uh, working, but we have to recognize that there are physical limitations that we didn't have before, and we just figure out ways to work around them. And there are plenty of tools to help sure. us these days. Sure. And and look, every age, and every person is different, of course, True. but every age brings with it new situations. Sometimes it's a, a, a disease, sometimes it's a chronic right. condition, sometimes it's uh, uh, just... Uh, new conditions, you move to a new place and you're unfamiliar and you have an accident, you know, things could, everything is on the table when it comes to growing mm -hmm. older. We just have to recognize it, enjoy it and take advantage of the good things we have and be careful of those situations that I'll call it plague old people. Yeah. I, one of them I think is a balance and uh, mobility issues. As we get older, as maybe some uh, joints begin sure. uh, sure. trouble, we get stiffer. But if you we find don't, a lot, particularly a lot of we people, don't exercise, right? And so one of the things that I've been very fortunate, uh, as you know, I've been practicing Tai Chi for about a dozen years or more, and uh, a significant uh, part of that practice has to do with uh, uh, working on on things of balance because you have to be balanced. You move from one side to the other in these sort of martial arts types of moves. And in fact, I'm taking, uh, I, I practice twice a week with two different instructors, both of which have mobility and balance built into the warm-up exercises, if you will, uh, oh, just that's good. to get you there. And I feel that's helped me quite a bit because when I had a layoff for a while, uh, I came back and I, I, I felt that I was not as steady as I was before. And uh, so that's the kind of thing. But it's, I'm never going to be like I was when I was 20 or 25. I yeah. recognize that, but it's okay because there are things we can do. Right. Uh, and I, I'm sure we've all had instances right. where... Well, I, I want to I ask folks to go to our website and look for uh, the Dai, tai Chi videos that we've done mm -hmm. uh, with Art's old master, Vince McCullough, and with others. They're a real good example, even if you're not going to take up Tai Chi, a real good example of the exercise form. And you can see just by watching these people, uh, they're stretching, they're balancing on one leg. It's, everything is kind of done in slow motion. It, it's a really good exercise. Also, I want you to look at um, Donna Lynn's short and sweet videos. Mm. Donna Lynn's whole message, and we put her up uh, uh, on the website every Monday. Donalyn's whole message is mobility. Is you know all her exercises are basically uh, physical fitness exercises, but they're easy to do. They're short, and they all stretch something, uh, and they keep your keep your body. Her whole thing is keeping your joints mobile. So yeah, th that's really important because it's so easy to fall down when you get old, mm. um, and when you get older, let's face it, our bones get brittle sometimes. And if you fall down, you break a bone, it's a much more difficult thing to get through than when you're 40, 
let's say, uh, or certainly when you're when you're a teenager. <laughs> you know, I think of of the kids breaking bones growing up, left, right, and sideways. You know, it's like eating candy. And I think the real the, the message we want to leave you with today is that we're enjoying uh, the second half of our life. Uh, uh, by being very active in a lot of things. In fact, we're doing this 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 whole series called Celebrating Act Two, and we've done hundreds and hundreds of of interviews with the various people who are very active, starting new things, uh, uh, and doing things that perhaps they never even did before. But uh, like uh, Clint Eastwood said, you've got to know your limitations, and uh, by by uh, uh, being aware that. We're going to change, and there's nothing we can do about it except, you know, try to keep as limber as possible for as long as possible. Is that there are aids, there are things uh, uh, you can get uh, things to put in your shower in case you feel a little unsteady in there. Uh, right. uh, these various bars, and they're easy to put up. In fact, I put up one with my granddaughter who was uh, seven at the time, and I helped. She helped me drill the holes and and put the screws in and so on and so forth. So, you know. But they're so they're pretty easy to do, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, don't be afraid of it, and embrace it, and uh, yep. use the many different things that are now available to help you live a more fulfilled life, even when some of your facilities are not as sharp as they were. Sure, and and I think Art, you you really hit on the grab bar is a good example. Grab bars in the shower are probably the most common, but little things like railings, mm -hmm. making sure your railing is secure railing up the stairs, railing on a porch. Um, those are really, you know, making sure they're tight, they're working, they're really important. And also clutter. Um, I, I don't know about you, but I find myself shuffling more than I used to. Uh, and I, I know that. <laughs> I'm a shuffler. <laughs> but I, I realized that I'm going to stop wearing slippers because that's what, that's what my shuffle is. I, mm. When I wear shoes, I don't shuffle. Where I wear, when I wear slippers around the house, I'm shuffling. And I think I do that to avoid um, the clutter, you know, dog toys on the floor or stepping or something, kicking something. Mm -hmm. So I think we all, as we get older, need to be aware of where we're walking, what we're walking on, um, picking up our feet a little bit more sometimes you know, to get over those lumps in the grass or whatever it is. You just you just have to be cautious and recognize that falling down for, you know, the older you get, the worse it can be. Mm. And you just have to be precautious. Wow. There we go. And if you can't be precautious, be precocious. <laughs> <laughs> but in any event, so... What our, what we suggest to everybody is do what we've done is embrace these changes and uh, hold on to them for as long as you can because uh, we've still got a lot of things on our plans and uh, falling down is not really part of it. So have a good day, Amen. have a good week, and um, hold on to a rail. Don't be ashamed. Hold on to a rail. Stay healthy, take your time, and enjoy life. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.